What do you think? What are we supposed to do with this thing? How much trouble can one wreck be? Put a fork in it because this one is done. A lot less than two. The good part is we got another one. Just Maybe cut like them it. both up and put them in the like trash. What happens when inspiration? I was thinking the car may be worth a little bit more if it's a GTX. Turns exasperation. Chris, I got an issue. Uh, what now? Barry White's got Mopar madness. 8600! How to make a buck. The Barry White way. Just rip that son of a out of there. <laughs> Find a wreck. Well, that's exactly what we're looking for. Sleeping underneath there? <laughs> oh. Get the right people. Jen, do something. What do you want me to do? <laughs> this will work. The right parts. Easy, 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 easy. And go to work. Bring it on. Then hope. It's flawless. Someone wants to buy it. Let your money bring you happiness. That's how you get from Rex to Riches. Another wrecking yard, another chance to make money. These are all good parts cars, but we yeah, need a car that's not a parts car. Custom car builder Barry White and his right-hand man, Chris Brown, are prospecting for gold. Well, I think he's got a few cars here and there in the middle of the yard that are at least solid anyway, but. Back in the office, Barry's daughter, Jen, searches her way. My dad doesn't really like the whole internet thing. He likes to just, you know, find a car and then just go out and look at it and then decide whether he wants it or not, how bad it is. Everyone's looking for a car to bring back from the grave uh. and sell for a nice profit. Barry has his sights set on the Silver Auto Auction in Reno, just four weeks away. It's one of the country's biggest. Buyers come from all over to put their money where their heart is. Sold the car, $26,500. And Barry wants something special, something rare, to bring in the big bucks. We need to find something good. Absolutely not working. We gotta have a whole car. It just looks like there's some rust on the door in normal rust in normal places. Barry's back from the yard empty-handed, um, but Jen strikes gold. Dad, there's two minutes left. What do you want me to do? Where's it at? Oh, it's uh, 1600 right now. Let me, let me look at it one more time. OK. It's awful cheap. Yeah. She's found an old Plymouth Roadrunner, a real collector's piece, just what Barry's looking for. Doesn't look bad. Doesn't look mm -hmm. horrible. Let's let's go with that one, I guess. Okay. Hopefully it'll be okay. All right. Go minimum over sixteen. See if we get it. Okay. Sixteen hundred for a rare piece of American muscle. Barry can't resist. Okay, Dad, we got it. How much? Oh, one thousand six hundred and twenty-five. Even. Sounds cheap. Yep. You're going with me to get it. All right. It looks like. <laughs> Yeah, there's real team spirit at Barry White's Speed Shop. For 20 years in Corona, California, Barry, his family, and a long line of staff have built award-winning custom cars. People line up for a piece of Barry White magic, turning junk into jaw-dropping rides. So where's this thing at? It's in Paris. Paris? It's up the freeway by Grandma's house. But for okay. this project, right. Barry's well, heading outside his comfort thing, zone. Uh, what kind of shape is it in? Is it okay? He said it was kind of rusty, but he had somebody look at it, and they said it wasn't that bad. He's starting with a wreck he's never seen, but already bought. Spending his money to resurrect it. And the model isn't even his favorite. When they came out, I didn't like anything about them. 
Chrysler's Plymouth hit in the late 60s and early 70s in three flavors. The basic satellite, the Roadrunner sports version, and the rare GTX, with extra muscle from Chrysler's legendary Hemi engine. But whichever version you owned, you only called it by one name, Mopar. Mopar stands for Motor Parts, which is the branch of the Chrysler Corporation that covers all the replacement, all the reproduction, and all the performance parts. Mopar became slang for any kind of Chrysler product. Part of pop culture in America, I guess. Barry's hoping to bag a Mopar fan at the Reno auction. Good. Nice to meet you, Barry. Jennifer, They're passionate on, uh, and willing to spend cool. if they cool. see the right That's model. It, huh? That's it? Yeah, you want to check it out? Yeah, let me go back and take a look at it. It's your car. <laughs> One Plymouth Roadrunner without much beep beep. The biggest thing if you're going to get something on the internet is to definitely do your homework and get pictures of specific things that you know are problem areas in that particular car. It's got some rust. Typically in any of the unibody cars, which are mostly muscle cars, is going to be the trunk floor, right around the wheelhouses in the back, quarter panels. Looks like it's had a quarter panel replaced. These cars have been around a long time, and the windows leak, and it goes down on the floor, where, you know, in the front and in the back. That's the low spot in the car, and tend to sit there and rot. That would be like a three eighths of Bondo on this thing here. In Barry's tight four week course. schedule, rust is his enemy. It just takes too long to fix. I don't know how we're going to save this one. I mean, it's savable. It'll be a phoenix. It'll rise from the rust. <laughs> yeah, it's going to have to rise from the <laughs> rust. <laughs> this thing is definitely wounded. Barry needs a miracle or another car. You saw the one up front. Now, that one has all nice metal parts on it. That's a California car, 717. Is it for sale? Uh, absolutely. Let's look at that one, too. Marvin. Maybe Barry gets a second chance. Plymouth had a car called the Satellite that was basically kind of like a base model. It was a mid-sized car. So this was originally a parts car for the other one? Yep. The Roadrunner was a car that was supposed to appeal to the youth market. What they did was they took their Satellite body and added a couple little cartoon logos to it, added a horn that sounded like the Roadrunner, and basically put a big motor in it. The satellite shell is the same as the Roadrunner's, and that's given Barry an idea. I'd like the bucket seats out of the car, I'd like to have the, the console out of the car, the dash out of the car, you know, all the Roadrunner piece, the front sheet metal's really good on that car. But the satellite body, main body, floor, is better. You know, denser, easier to fix than rust. Out of the two cars, we could make one good car. So that's, that's the key. So Barry's turning into Dr. Frankenstein. OK. <laughs> um, can you make me some kind of deal on the satellite for a package for both of them, or? So yeah. I would say 26. That would OK, that's as low as you go? That's it. I think that's OK. No, that's, that's cool. We can, okay. we can go ahead and do that. Yeah. With 1600 already down on the Roadrunner, another grand for a sound body seems like a good deal. Back at the speed shop, Barry decides to have some fun with his paint and body guy, Tony. What do you think? Well, what are we supposed to do with this thing? Well, we just spent more time taking off the trailer. That's all the we've been working on this. Barry hasn't told him he has two cars to work with. Yeah, you just got to pull real hard. <laughs> Good, great. I can't even open the trunk. It's a team building exercise. Is there a floor in this tank? When's the last time you saw those? <laughs> Put a fork in it because this one is done. The good part is we got another one. 
So we can we can take the Roadrunner pieces off of this car. Well, if it if it looks like this, it doesn't look like anything. Just like cut this. them both up and put them in the look, trash. <laughs> doesn't look anything like this. <laughs> That's Tony. He gets mad for a minute. He always comes back, and then he starts thinking about how the reality of can we get it really get it done. While Tony cools off, Chris, the designer, wants to take the Frankenstein idea further. I know we have a Roadrunner here, but I was thinking uh, for the value of the car, it may be worth a little bit more if it's a GTX. Also, the if we put a Hemi in this car, the uh, GTX is worth just a little bit more than a Roadrunner. Selling a, some sort of a super muscle car is going to you know, certainly bring a lot of money on that. Yeah, no, that, that works for me. Barry doesn't sound too enthusiastic, but it should bring more money. So what we're going to do is take all the Roadrunner parts, put them on the satellite, and then add the extra stuff that we have to add to make it into a GTX. That's how we're going to make this super muscle car. What could possibly go wrong? Let's go just ride it through. The Silver Auto Auction in Reno, Nevada is big. Up to 1,000 vehicles cross the auction floor. It's a big opportunity for Barry to flip a rack. Reno is a weekend extravaganza, drawing 100,000 car fans. But Barry's starting behind the eight ball, having to turn two Plymouths into one. But sandblasting reveals the satellite body is in good shape. That's an easy panel. It only goes from here to here. What about the Roadrunner? How's the back floors in it? We're just using it for pieces. This is the real car now. Rebuilding the 71 Roadrunner was Barry's original plan. But the old bird is becoming chicken feed, cut up to patch its sister, the satellite. Now these floors we can use. We'll cut these out. We'll cut the floor out of this car. Chris gets to work on a design that's neither a satellite nor Roadrunner, but a GTX, Plymouth's top of the line muscle car. The styling on these cars is called fuselage styling because it all looks like it's kind of a big soft shape. All of it was inspired by the, the big jumbo jets. This super muscle car captures a classic spirit, but with modern technology. We're trying to bring that back, but we're going to also put in the paneling capabilities in the car now and the amenities in the car. Power steering, power brakes, air conditioning, you know, and heat. And to make it stand out from the crowd, a radical choice of color. The original color of the Roadrunner seems to be plum crazy purple. Purple was real cool, and you could do a black stripe on it. What we're going to do them in is a semi-gloss black. We want to keep it kind of aggressive. The car's going to sit low, big brakes, 20-inch wheels. This thing's going to be bad. And it's, it's certainly going to be different. But it can't be a Plymouth GTX without a Hemi engine. The Chrysler Motor Mopar fans covet. Barry's found an original 426 Hemi for sale. The Hemi was the quintessential muscle car, you know, back then, you know, in the 70s, was, that was the biggest engine you could buy, and it was a Hemi engine. This motor is complete. I have everything for it. Four-speed or an automatic didn't matter. The Hemi was the car to have. Basically, we need a good block. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's not brand new. I know it needs some work. Has everything been magnified? You said it was no, a small no, crack. No, this one, not? yeah, there's a, there's a crack in this journal. It okay. goes to about there. Okay. I don't know, how, you know, what parts you guys got and stuff, but I actually have a valve train. I could almost put that whole motor together if I wanted. So what do you want for the block? I don't know, I kind of figured, you know, for that block there, 
1500. Well, we're real interested in the block for sure. That's yeah. definitely. Let me go back and, and get a hold of the comp guys and find out what, what exactly, if we need anything else. Then you're in business. Yeah. Back in Dr. Frankenstein's lab, two dead cars are becoming one. It's taken a week, longer than Barry expected, but the transplants are flawless. When we do a super muscle car, we basically take the car to absolutely nothing and bring it back. So basically, it's a car we built. Every nut and bolt's been taken out of it, and then we go back and basically do a complete restoration of the car. Cost of the bodywork, a bit over three grand. Total on the spendometer so far, $7,000. And 100 work hours. This is cool. Out back, the Hemi engine block uh, checks out read? okay. Yeah, I can read. And they've scored a bonus. Well, wow, yeah. it's a numbered block, Keith Black block. Yeah, I know. With rolling the on, uh, name on there also. So it's so a, this and it's probably a, came out of the Hawaiian punch car. And it's a 72? It's in a 72? Yeah, it's a 72. Wow, that's, that's unbelievable. That's something you put in your office. That's not something you put in a car. <laughs> that's a piece of history. A former drag racer, Barry knows Keith Black Hemmings are quarter mile legends. Although he'd love the block for his speed shop dragster, it's going in the GTX. This thing's gone over 200 miles an hour a bunch of times and, and it's a survivor. Not a hell of a lot of them survived because you know, they, it's an iron block and they used to blow them up. But there's a catch. Mm -hmm. Machine shop saying they need a week on the block. We don't have that kind of time. Uh -huh. Plus the cost, we're going to have 10, maybe 11 grand by the time we're done. Yeah. Versus buying a crate motor. So. Refurbishing the motor will cost a bundle be off. and need time. But that's where we're at. It may be safer to use a new crate hemi. I don't know how you guys feel, but I definitely don't want to put a new motor in it. Well, and I think spending two or three grand more on a new one, you're not going to get another two or three grand more in value. No, if it's anything, gonna you're going to go the other way. And then this motor has history, and I just hate to, I'd hate to walk away from all that. Yeah. If we can push Barry everybody. Barry and Chris want to hook a Saturday. Mopar fan. Ultimately, that's so our that our goal is for it to have more value in the car. Not only that, there's just a certain cool factor and, you know, we're building a super muscle car. This is the ultimate super muscle engine, is a 426 Hemi. Then to have the, the history of it being a drag race block, this is just it. This is, as, I, you know, this is as good as it gets. With less than three weeks to auction, Barry's gambling to restore the KB Hemi in time. But right now, the priority is paint. Frankenstein's monster has been stitched, sewn, and beaten into a Plymouth GTX. And to hide the scars, plum crazy purple. When it's all primered spots in different colors, your eye isn't attracted to the whole car at one time. When you actually start seeing a solid color on everything, then that's when you really start getting the idea of what the car's actually gonna look like. It's pretty exciting, it's pretty cool. The GTX gets six coats, including primer, color, and clear finish layers. It's taken 120 work hours to this point and $11,000. And Barry plans to spend at Barry's least that again 
on the engine. Hey, what's happening? Oh, really? But the shop gets some bad news. <sighs> this isn't good. And it can't be repaired? That Keith Black Hemi they had their hearts set on? Might not be acceptable too, so don't start. Hey, Barry. Yeah. I just got off the phone with Dan on the block. Yeah. Uh, the deck and everything's fine. But that crack that it had, mm -hmm. once they magnaflect it, it's almost six inches long and it goes the length of the, the cam journals. He said, if you try to put a camber in it, it's gonna split the block. Two and a half weeks to showtime, they're in a world of trouble. The Reno auction is looming. Some of America's sharpest cars from the smartest builders will go under the hammer. Classic cars are pulling high dollars from enthusiasts and investors. Barry wants a piece of the pie. The Plymouth GTX may not yet have a motor, but there's no time to wait for a fix. The entire car has to be rebuilt in just two weeks. How are we doing? Pretty good. You're sweating? Sweating. <laughs> cool. That is such an awesome part. Ready? Mopar guru Ron Jenkins has designed a new front end, 150 pounds lighter, and leaving room for the Hemi engine. That's gonna give us a lot of clearance for headers, uh, make it very simplistic to mount the engine. Uh, it's gonna give us a ton of oil pan clearance. So we're gonna be able to run a large capacity oil pan on this that doesn't hang below the level of the K-member. So we'll get about 10 quarts of capacity without any adverse characteristics as far as hitting speed bumps, potholes, things like that. So it should help the car out quite a bit as far as reliability goes. You wanna go dive hoop? I don't mind. All right. Dive it, baby. Here we go. The rear end is all new, too. Chrysler puts such big motors in their cars. That 9-inch Ford is pretty unbreakable. Watch your fingers. It's easy rear end to maintenance, and if you don't like the gear that's in it, it's easy to change. I'm in. Mine is on the pin. All right. Perfect. Excellent. The rolling chassis is coming together, but what's going to drive it? Hey, I got a question for you. I'm uh, in desperate need of a 426 Hemi. Barry needs to install a motor within the week. He's running out of time. I got a block that was bitching, had some history and everything, and uh, paid there, two please? grand for it. It's got a crack in it. Uh, I need it by Friday. You know where I can get one? They're still looking for an okay. original Hemi to replace the crack Keith Black. But so Thanks. far, mm -hmm. nada. <laughs> With calls out around California, it's back to the build. Are you sleeping under there or what? With two weeks to auction, Barry slamming in almost $10,000 in running gear. Total so far, 230 hours and $20,000. That's one of a long shock. This looks like it's off a four-wheel drive car. It's off my support. Frankenstein's monster is slowly becoming a super muscle car. Ooh, nice new shot. You want to help me put him in? Designed to look like old and drive like new. With just days to spare, they finally find an engine. Found you a crate motor in stock. We can pick it up or they'll deliver it 13 1. Right, there, how much nobody, is it? 13-1. Uh, we have it, probably have it tomorrow. We don't have a choice. They can, they'll deliver it. They yeah. should deliver it. Well, for that kind of money, they better deliver it and install it. <laughs> yeah, right. A new motor is yeah, not what Barry so planned, mm -hmm. but I times run price, out. So got to find the other dealer. Some things are out of our control, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, Would have yeah. been cool to have that block in there. You get your mindset on one thing and have to turn it the other way. Bottom line is still a Hemi car, still bitching, still going to make a ton of horsepower. 
That's, that's really all that matters. Probably the reality of it is it's a better way to do it because we're actually going to gain some time. Great, finally. It takes a big stress off, doesn't it? Let's get a cherry picker. Let's make this happen. I'm glad you took the heavy end. The Barry's plug. Hemi Gamble just got bigger. 13,000 for an engine without history. Just go easy. We're going easy. Will a classic Mopar fan see the no value? Up. OK, let me let it down. Watch your fingers, Tim. Barry hopes so. The GTX has 300 hours and $35,000 so far. Hey, hang on. And with just 10 days to go, they're a long In. way from done. In. Woohoo! Filled up that engine there. compartment. It's perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, the best hunter in the world is Carl. 35.5, 36,000. The Here silver auction in Reno, with its big crowds and big spenders, has a strict entry deadline. Builders have no second chances. In just over a week, Barry must deliver his Frankenstein GTX made from a Plymouth satellite and a roadrunner. Anybody else in the auditorium? All in, all done. So, $38,000, sold it. What's your number? Now they're scrambling to fit out the car. Easy, easy. Yeah, it's too bad we got those reflectors on there. And that's uncovered another problem. The biggest problem I have with the reflectors is, in this case, it got away from me. Reflector holes in the front fenders are not what Barry expected. They were doing body and paint before I got over there, and apparently Chris told them to leave them on. I don't leave them on. I don't like side reflectors. The front of the car is so incredibly long that having a little something in there to break up the front of that fender, the overhang on the front of the car, actually kind of shortens up the car visually a little bit. He didn't do any investigation to find out whether we could actually get the reflectors, which we can't. So now we've backed ourselves into a corner. A desperate search is on now for the old reflectors amongst the scattered body parts out back. The body work's done. It's too late to fill holes. It doesn't appear to be big things to people, but when you're trying to put this car together and you're on your last week putting the car together, this turns into big things. The smallest thing can throw a wrench into the whole deal. What I'm thinking maybe we can do is cut this section out. Make one out of two. Do we know if we have any more reflectors? We got two broken ones and one decent one. Take a red one off the back and uh, paint it orange. Barry knows any blemish will lose him money at auction. And his reputation is on the line. See how it yeah, just looks faded? Sun yeah. bleach spots. Yeah. I don't like that. We could either paint them or you could go in and beat the shit out of Chris with it. How's that? I do both. Works for me, buddy. Five days to auction, 380 work hours, and $40,000 down. The little problems just aren't going away. I don't like them, do you? I'm not sure if the hugger orange will even, do you think it might make it better? They look painted. They don't look. Well, painted. So they're going to look painted. We painted them because you couldn't get the right ones and you made us leave them on. They're not. And I don't uh, like them. Tinted. They're just. I don't know painted. if I ever told you that. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah. Don't leave any marker lights on another car. Yeah. You look wrong on <laughs> Or you and me are going out in the front lawn. <laughs> Wheels? I have to wait for him to call me back. Being assistant to Dr. Frankenstein ain't easy. Being the middle kid in between the uh, suppliers and the guys that are putting the parts on the car does tend to get stressful sometimes. I'm not going to lie about that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's all about getting a, the car right and having everything there when it's supposed to be there. Four screw Finally got some wheels. Good. About time. These custom-built alloys were designed by Chris. 
back when he thought the GTX conversion was a neat idea to make more money. The way things are going... I'm not overly wild about the uh, color of the wheels. There's a lot of, just a bunch of small stuff on this car. It's kind of driving me crazy. I would have chose for a darker center or an all-polished center. This took the meanness right out of the car. Might as well put lavender interior in it. We're taking the wheels back. OK. I don't like them. I don't like the silver. OK. Nobody likes them. And I'm not taking this car that we're trying to get all this money for it out there with these wheels on there. OK. Adam or Three days the to the Reno auction deadline. Cashed up auto fans are heading to Reno. Almost 900 vehicles will go under the hammer. In just three days, fortunes will be made and lost. Creating this 71 Plymouth GTX from two different wrecks has been a grind. But with the paint trim and interior package, Frankenstein's monster is finally coming together. This is carpet. See? Black. This GTX will be unique. A Mopar classic built in the 21st century. When you're in drive, you can bring it down in a second, first, and then bring it back up with just a push of the button on the steering wheel. This is a wireless piece. It's got a separate receiver for it and has never been done before. Well, we need to match kind of what the seats are doing. So we wanted a look that was real clean and real simple. The original ones were kind of complex and had a bunch of patterns and stuff in them. We're going to run for a while. OK, let's go. See if it'll run. Just two days before right. auction, the Hemi's fired for the first time. Go ahead and try it. Six or seven now, Ken. Six or seven. That's pretty close. Start. Yeah, idle's right. The Hemi ideas cost Barry a lot of pain. But it'll bring a lucky buyer a lot of pleasure. Woo! Shut it off. Excellent. OK, it runs. All right, let's go home. <laughs> <laughs> now, now it's time to get back to work. <laughs> The last pieces. Chris's repainted wheels to Barry's specifications. They look good. They don't look like uh, wimpy wheels anymore. Let it down. Here we go. Nice and easy. Oops. Real easy. With just one day to spare. The Plymouth GTX is done. Yeah, right Looks there. nice. Looks good. Looks it's good. taken 460 work hours and $55,000. After spending that kind of money, Barry's earned the first ride. I think this car has come out real good. It's made everybody happy. It looks good. It drives good. Built from an old Plymouth satellite and a Roadrunner, it's anything but a monster. We took the car that's usually not the car that everybody thinks is the coolest car and I think we made it pretty damn cool. The whole look, I think we just nailed it. Nailed it on this car.
The 426 Hemi was almost their undoing. But Barry's foot tells him it was the right choice. It's pretty hard to beat a Hemi. <laughs> It's different, you know, it's, it's what makes that car really neat is that it's different. You know, some of the stuff on it's never been done before. To me, it's a classy color without being your typical red or yellow or, or blue, you know, so it's a nice change. It's kind of an intimidating looking car. It's all done in the dark color and it's got the sinister black stripes on it and the dark wheels and the stance and everything. It just looks like it's gonna run you over. I think it came off perfect. It, it's gorgeous. The auction's supposed to be a huge auction. It's in a good place where people are already gambling and winning money anyway. Um, and the car is a little bit flashy, which is perfect for that kind of a place. So I hope to see this car go for a lot of money. Yeah, if you're gonna gamble 55,000 bucks, what better place to go? Somewhere in the neighborhood of 900 cars here, so there's a lot of stuff here. A lot of good stuff. Looks good. A lot of muscle cars. A lot of muscle cars. And that's a lot of competition. But the plum crazy purple seems to be drawing them in. It's awesome. It's a beautiful car. It's done a great job on it. Look at the detail and the finish. Uh, the 426 with uh, two four barrels on there. How do you beat it? The drivetrain's pretty cool, and the dual quad looks like a dual quad setup, but it's fuel injected. The automatic transmission, push button transmission, I think is just one of a kind. The package he's put together is just perfect. Reaction is all good so far, but the only place it counts is on the auction floor. This is one of the featured cars here behind the stage, and it's still reserved. If there's Mopar interest here, this Roadrunner convertible should give a good indication. That's the one we looked at earlier. Documented with three original broadcast sheets in it. It's an original restoration. If it doesn't sell well, Barry's in trouble. The silver auto auction in Reno, Nevada. Cars are selling. Now 25 here. Now 30. Question is, are any of the Mopars? The price of this original Plymouth Roadrunner convertible will give Barry a gauge for his Plymouth GTX. 45.5. We are still live. All ready for that live. 45.5. 45.5. So, on the phone. Phone bid. 45. Not great news. Barry spent 55000 to get his GTX here. But then his is a super muscle car. That's more of a stock car. Ours is totally modified. So hopefully somebody appreciate all the things we've done. and It'll go higher. GTX word of mouth is good. But talk isn't going to get Barry his money back. We've had several guys ask us what time it goes through and we want to make sure they don't miss it. So that's either good or bad, we don't know what. They either want to see who buys it or they want to bid on it themselves. It's nerve wracking. Just four weeks ago, Barry started with a bargain. I don't know how we're going to save this one. That turned into two bargains. Out of the two cars, we could make one good car. 
these prospective buyers could hardly imagine what it took in Frankenstein's lab. Let's cut them out. We're just using it for pieces. This is the real car now. Thrashing two into one was the easy part. This is the ultimate super muscle engine, is a 426 Hemi. The engine was a different story. And it can be repaired? Yeah, it's too bad we got those reflectors on there. A lot of angst went into this build. This car is spectacular. 500 now, horsepower. it's payback one time. Car. Here's the one everybody's been wanting, one of the stars of the show. I've got an opening bid of 30,000. I'm at 40, 40, 30, I'm at 40, 40, 30, I'm at 40, 40, 30, I'm at 30, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 